This Christmas, I gave you my heart. The very next day, I gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I gave it. Hey y'all, hey, it's Troy and Monet. Back to y'all with another video. And welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2, you guys. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little haul. And not just any haul. We're going to be doing an Amazon haul specifically for my content creators and also my influencers out there, y'all. So we're going to jump right on into it because I got a lot of stuff to show y'all. I got a whole bucket full of just content creator goodies. Stuff that y'all have probably been seeing on TikTok, stuff that I've been seeing all over the place, and things that you definitely need in order to make sure that you are a success when it comes to being a content creator and also an influencer in the year 2024. So let's go ahead and hop right on into it. First things first that I've got to make sure that I share with you guys is what's on the back of my phone right here. But the reason why we got to mention this thing right here first is because this thing saves my life all the time i'm gonna go ahead and insert a reel that i did reviewing this product this is the octo buddy and this is a suction cup that basically like sticks on like almost any surface so you can take this little device you can stick it anywhere that you want and it will literally stick to it as long as it's like a glassy or like plasticky type of surface if you stick it to something that's like made of fabric or anything like that it won't stick but it is basically a little suction cup which makes it so easy for you to create content no matter where you are. So if you want to just do like a quick get ready with me, you can stick this on your mirror. If you are driving, I drive with this all the time. I stick it on my passenger side window and I'm recording myself while I'm driving. You need this straight from Amazon, linked down below, honey. All right, y'all, so up next, <laughs> this has been literally taking over my entire TikTok. And I'm like, listen, if I see another one of these, y'all know what this is. If I see another one of these, I'm going to scream. Okay, so this is the basically the 360, what is this? The built-in um, 360 face tracker, little tripod thingy mababa that we have been seeing all over the place. And y'all, I just started using mine for content creation. And I love it. It's so good. It goes into basically a complete 360 um, and you are able to basically use this in order to create content and it basically tracks your face so you can do it the um, Horizontal and then also the vertical way as well So that way you're able to go through and create content no matter what the only thing I don't really like about this is that it only hooks up to your phone There's not really a way for you to hook it up to your camera unless your camera can fit between this little You know little noggin thing here, but it comes in a bunch of different colors You can get it in pink white and also black I've seen this all over TikTok shop. I personally got mine from Amazon. It's literally the exact same product. I got mine from Amazon because I wanted mine faster. Y'all know stuff on TikTok shop is taking so long in order to go through and come. So I went ahead and I grabbed this product, y'all, and I love this. This is so dope. I used to have the Pivo, and if you are an OG, OG creator, you know about the Pivo. Pivo is basically like the originator of like this entire face tracking situation. And I got this a long time ago, you guys. I'm not going to lie. This thing was extremely expensive. I highly just recommend for you to go ahead and get this one. I want to say it came with like a little remote. I want to say I paid like almost $250 for this. And for the one that I got from Amazon, I think this one was like less than $20, $30, something along those lines. So I highly recommend for you to get this one. This is the 360 face tracker. You need this as a content creator, especially if you want to up your content game in 2024. All right, you guys, so up next, let's talk tripods. And not just any tripod, let's really talk about tripods as it relates to things that are practical, portable, and travel friendly. These two tripods, y'all, are the GOAT, okay? I just actually got this one probably like a month ago, and I really, really love it. The reason why is look how small and compact this is. This is a tripod that I keep in my car. So if there's ever a time that I want to go through and create content, I can easily access a tripod. I highly recommend you guys keeping one of these like little small dainty tripods inside of your car because you never know when it's a nice little opportunity for you to go through and create content. But let me show y'all how you actually retract this. So there's a little button at the bottom. It just says push. So of course you just push it. The legs of the tripod opens and then you just pull the rest of it out. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. You pull the rest of it out just like that and your phone sits right here. You do have the ability of changing it in several different directions. 
So you can go ahead and put it back together just like this as well. And what's really cool about this tripod is even though that it's like nice and small and dainty, it still does come with a remote. So you can go ahead and just pop this off and you'll be able to take pictures with the remote. I don't really use remotes when I do um, any of my content creation. I use an app called Lens Buddy and it takes my content pictures for me. But you can go ahead and use this little remote. So this is a really good tripod. And for this to be so small, it is very sturdy. And it is extremely, extremely like heavy and just really great quality. So I highly recommend this one. There's a lot of other ones on the market, but this is a really great compact one. The other tripod that I want to recommend to you guys is this one right here. So this one looks a little funky and interesting. And the only thing I don't like about this tripod is this extension piece that kind of flares out just a little bit. But this is my at-home compact tripod. So I use this one when I just want to create some content real quick. I'm not trying to do the, you know, do the whole knob of getting everything all nice and set up and situated. So I really like this tripod. All you do is you pull the top part out just like this. Your phone can sit in it this way or you can change it this way. Your phone can sit in it like that. You pop the legs out. Boom. There you go. And it also did come with a remote. I lost it a long time ago, but it did come with a remote. And I really like this one for at home use just because it's so small and dainty. This is also a really good travel one too. So I highly recommend both of those tripods. All right, you guys. So up next, while we are on the topic of tripods, this is my favorite, favorite tripod when it comes to vlogging. This tripod, y'all, is so dope when it comes to vlogging. I really love how small it is, how compact it is, and how good it fits in the hand and how it just moves, right? Like it's a really dope tripod. This is really good for those of you guys who are interested in vlogging and also like on the go content creation. I highly recommend this one. I normally would go ahead and just put it on my Sony ZV-E10 or I use it on my new camera, which is the DJ, DJI. I'll be doing a YouTube video on that camera soon too. I'm dropping stuff. So this is pretty much how my vlogging setup looks whenever I am using my Sony ZV-E10 and this is how the tripod looks on that. This tripod is called, it's from a brand called Manfrotto, I want to say is how you pronounce it. And I really like the fact that it has this button on it. This button saves the day every single time because I'm able to get so many different angles. If you press the button, you're able to go through and move the tripod. I'm dropping stuff again still. You're able to go through and move the tripod all around, all around in order for you to get whatever angle it is that you are looking for. But I really do love this tripod when it comes to vlogging and it keeps the camera nice and steady and it isn't cheap. This is a very good quality tripod for vlogging. Highly recommend. All right, y'all, up next is gonna be my mic since it wants to be the star of the show so bad. So this is the Rode mic. I'll have the exact name for it on the screen so that way you guys can make sure that you are getting the perfect one. But I love this mic for all of my sit down videos. I'm actually using my spare one right now. So the audio that you guys are hearing from this is from my spare mic. But this mic, you guys, is so nice. It's so small and compact. It does draw a lot of attention, I ain't gonna lie to you. So if you are going through and you are a shy vlogger just like I am, I wouldn't really recommend this mic. I would recommend another one that I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. But this mic is really nice for all of your sit down videos, which doesn't acquire like this entire crazy setup process. You're literally just taking the plug here and you're put, put it, putting it inside of the camera. So you're able to go through and get some really great audio. But this is a really dope mic. This is from the company called Rode. And I believe like this is like their um, like quick setup mic or something along those lines. I have the exact name for it here on the screen, but really dope mic. And it really does cast out some really good audio without all the background noise. So definitely get your hands on this mic for all of your sit down videos for YouTube. All right, up next, speaking of my little small mini mic situation. So I'm pretty sure y'all have seen these little tiny mics all over YouTube, all over Instagram. All the content girlies have them. You see them doing their little videos with their little mics like this. These mics, y'all, are really good quality. Extremely, extremely good quality, you guys. If you are interested in some really small little neat mics that you can put on your clothing or you can just hold and talk to, these mics are extremely good and they are very inexpensive. All you have to do is take the little connector device here. You put it into your iPhone at the bottom. You go ahead and turn it on, hook it onto your shirt, and that's it. Literally the most simplistic setup process ever. And they do have the same exact mics that you're able to hook up to your camera as well. So if you want these same exact mics for your camera, I'll link both of them down below for the phones and also for the camera. You can go ahead and get that as well. But if you are looking for something that is just a little bit more 
high quality. You want amazing, crisp, clean, quality sound, almost as if a videographer filmed your entire YouTube video for you. Then you want these mics, you guys. This is from the brand called Holy Land. Um, this brand, you guys, is amazing when it comes to mics as well. I really should have used it for this video, but I wanted to show you, show it to you guys, so that's why I didn't use it. But these mics are amazing. My good friend Monet put me on these mics, y'all. Her quality sound amazing when I first heard it. So I was like, girl, where you got your mics from? And it is a little bit on the pricey side, but it is one of those things where you truly get what you pay for. The quality of these mics are insane. So it literally looks like a little AirPod case. You pop the top. This is the connector. You hook this into your camera. And then you also have two extra mics. So if it's you and then you also have a guest, you guys can go ahead and both use these mics as well. And then they do both come with little muffers so that way you're able to make sure that the quality of the sound is really nice, clean, and crisp. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about storage up next. So I know y'all are sick and tired of being sick and tired when it comes to running out of space on your iPhone. You're like, girl, I keep running out of space. My phone keeps telling me to delete stuff. I don't want to sit here and come continue to delete things. Then that means you need this little device right here. This is from a brand called SunDisk or sand disc rather and it is a mini little thumb drive or a little flash drive all you do is take this stick it directly inside of your phone and transfer all of your photos and all of your videos strictly to this device i really like the fact that it also comes with a little keychain so i'm actually after we record this i'm gonna go ahead and put mine on my keychain too so i don't lose it because it's so small but this really allows you to go through and transfer all of your photos and all of your videos to this little flash drive you can go ahead and hook it directly into your computer in order for you to go ahead and edit whatever it is that you need to do. Usually what I do is I like to just keep my pictures and videos on this. I don't usually transfer it, transfer it to my computer. I'll usually just airdrop it over, but I just like using this as like a little storage device. This is really, really dope. You hook it up to a separate app, so that way you're also able to track all of your photos and all of your videos. Y'all need this little device. This is a lifesaver right here. And also when it comes to storage, you need this right here as well. This is the Lossy Lacy, hopefully I'm saying the name right. This is a external hard drive. I always get questions, Troya, how do you edit your YouTube videos? I edit using Final Cut Pro, but I export and also import all of my content using this hard drive right here. This makes it so much more easier for you don't, so you don't ruin your computer, essentially. A lot of y'all out here ruining your computer trying to edit these large files onto your Apple computers and your desktops and our processors honestly just ain't built for it. So you do need an external hard drive. This is the one that I have. I have the one terabyte. Um, you can go ahead and get the two terabyte. I think this one I paid like $64 or something like that for from it on Amazon. But you want to make sure that you have an external hard drive. The reason why I recommend this one, you guys, is because this orange part is all rubber. One thing my photographer told me is if you like literally drop this, there's a disc inside of it that when you drop it, if anything happens to the disc, you also lose a lot of your storage and you also lose a lot of the files that are on the hard drive. So you want to make sure that you have a um, hard drive that has like a rubber casing onto it so that way if anything were to happen to it, it's nice and protected. So I highly recommend this one. I've been using this one for years now. Highly recommend it. This is the Lacey Lassie, however you say it, external hard drive, making it so easy for you to edit your YouTube videos in particular. All right, you guys, and up next is going to be, of course, the infamous light. I don't know, everybody started calling this light the Alex Earl light. I feel like I had this light before the rise of Alex Earl, but okay. So this is the Alex Earl light, or also known as the clip light is what I like to call it. Y'all, this light is so dope. You clip it onto your phone, you go ahead and turn it on, and now you have some amazing lighting that you're able to capture when it comes to all of your videos. You can turn it up, you can turn it down, all the things, it can get super, 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 super bright. You can also change it if you want it to be a little bit lower as well. You need this light. I like to take this out with me if I know that I am going out like on a town, I'm going out that night. And I know that I want to get some really great content or if there's any part of my house that is a little bit darker, I'll take this without having to get all of my LED lights or my ring lights or anything along those lines. This is an amazing light, you guys, that is so small, so compact, and it fits right smack dab in your purse. This little extension part can come off too, so you're able to go through and do that as well. But this light, y'all, chef's kiss, you need this light for sure, for sure. 
And last but not least, I recently came across this little device here, you guys. This is a mirror. I don't want to blind y'all, but this is a mirror and this is a clip at the end. I know y'all like, well, what is that for? How many times have y'all tried to create content using your back camera, but you aren't able to see yourself? This little thingy over here is crazy. I also actually just seen my good girl, Taylor Lloyd. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. She just did a video the other day about a monitor. I'm going to insert her video right here so that way y'all can see it. A monitor that sits on the back of your cell phone so that way you're able to see yourself. But it's like $70. This little device here I think cost me like almost maybe $10, $15, something along those lines. And all you have to do is either clip it on the back of your phone or you can clip it on the back of your tripod. And now you're able to see yourself using your back camera. I can see myself, but I can still use my back camera just so that way I can make sure that I'm in frame. I can make sure that I can see myself, all the things. Y'all need this little device, especially if you're not trying to invest in the little monitor. I really love this. This really has been saving the day when it comes to creating content. So you need this little device right here, 100%. You guys so that pretty much concludes today's video i hope you guys got some really great little products that you can add to your little content creation journey y'all we are taking things up a notch in the year 2024 and i hope you are ready i hope you are ready to go ahead and tackle it content creation about to go stupid content creation about to go crazy go ahead and let me know what your favorite product is down below all links regarding all of these products will be down below as well i'll see you guys in vlogmas day three see ya